Hi, I'm Ron Hall, and um, I'm here today with a new friend of mine and one of the uh, really favorite artists that I've met in a long time. Her name is Shima, and uh, she's a Dallas, a local Dallas artist, and you can see her work at the uh, Sink Gallery on Dragon Street. But uh, I want you to get to know her, and I want you to get to know her today, and so I'd really like to find out a little bit uh, more about how, how did your career get started, Shima? Thank you, Ron, for your time today. I appreciate that. And um, so I have always been uh, into art since I was a kid. And growing up with a mo mom who is very much into art, she's a batik artist. And I, I learned lots of artistic things from hand embroidery to batik and, you know, basic sketching. The basic foundation I learned from my mom, and then that was back in Bangladesh. Bangladesh, that's Bangladesh. where I was born. Okay. And um, then also I, I went to the art school. It's called Zia's Art Gallery, and I used to learn art. Mm -hmm. Then my both parents saw that I have so much interest in art, so I used to learn voice training, singing, and uh, art. But my more attention was towards art, so they hired a private tutor. So I used to learn at home. He used to come every other day and, you know, I had private tutoring at home. So I learned for a few years, then I moved to U.S. and here I have done several um, workshops, took some classes in community college as continuing ed. And um, that's how, and of course, I have passion for it. I constantly try and explore different, different things. Mm -hmm. And um, that's how I I do my art. Well, you know, some of my favorite artists, uh, when I first saw your work, it reminded me so much of some of my favorite artists, uh, like Helen Frankenthaler, Willem de Kooning, uh, Clifford Still. I love abstract expressionism, and I love uh, just sometimes people think it's complex, but it's, it takes the complexity out of painting and makes things simple with color. And you're very, very good at that, and not only just using color itself, but adding the medium of encaustic. And I love that. So who actually inspires you? I believe you must be looking at some of the same artists that I love. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Helen Frankler is one of my very favorite artists. I like, you know, sort of after God kind of follow her, uh, her work and her style. Um, and encaustic, my connection with encaustic, because as a teenager, I learned batik, which mm -hmm. is an Indonesian technique. And encaustic is a 3,000 years old uh, Egyptian technique. Yes. So um, Beeswax, for people yes. that don't know that. <laughs> yes, it's bees, clear beeswax, resin, and yeah. for color, we use pigment. Right. You already know that. So, <laughs> um, for, uh, so my connection with encaustic is, as a, as a teenager, I learned batik, so I had a connection with wax right there. And after moving to U.S., I wanted to explore for last maybe 10, 11 years when I first thought about that. I want to, I used to mostly paint with oil and acrylic, watercolor, and suddenly I thought about batik. And I felt it was, I did some research and doing batik mm. is not easy here. Mm. So I found about, found out about encaustic and I decided to explore that medium and the uh, took some classes and workshops, and that's where my journey began. It gives such a depth and richness to yes. painting and to canvases or, or whatever your, uh, the, the, the type of surface that you're putting things on. I see here that you're using a beautiful encaustic monotype here uh, on your left, and then these uh, beautiful encaustics on, on wood panels. Uh, I just love the depth and intensity of the encaustic method. But uh, I was wondering, um, you know, I know that you are now, you, you do this full time, and I, I know that there's something, I, I did a little painting, a little sculpture myself, but mine came out of a very tragic moment in my life, and, and when I was learning more about you, I understand that maybe a lot of your uh, inspiration and feelings come out on these paintings from some of the tragedies and, and situations in life that you've been through. Yes, uh, that's absolutely right. I I felt and I still do like believe that you know my art is my savior. Otherwise, you know, I don't know where would my it's life. therapeutic, <laughs> very therapeutic, and I I am trying to study that route. I I have talked about this to. I work with several battered women shelter, like Family Place, Hope Store, New Beginnings, and um, that's that's a cause that stays very close to my heart, battered women. 
and mm -hmm. also abuse children. And you're giving back to society. That's a yes. wonderful thing. I want people to know, again, that they can see your work at uh, the Sink Gallery on uh, Dragon Street here in Dallas. And for all of you that joined us here today, I want to thank you for... Uh, for being here with us and, and getting to know uh, Shima and her work here. And uh, thank you for being here on the Best of God TV. Thank you.